I'm out here at Riverview High School in order to release the common snook that Riverview High School students have been rearing for over the last year. Our goal is to show the students how Boats Research is growing snook in aquaculture settings in order to release back into wild populations to keep those populations healthy and sustainable in the event of mass mortality events, such as from red tide or cold stuns. I wanted to be able to grow a species that was uh, native to Florida um, and kind of be part of the the solution and actually release back into the wild. So we basically take the snook when they're about an inch, they're a little fry. Um, we get usually 100 to 200 a year um, and we grow them to about this size, which you're seeing today and we're um, tagging them about a month ago. They went through a tagging process and then they're gonna be released into Philippi Creek and we'll be able to track and see where they go in that area. So for the last three years, Moat's been partnering with Riverview High School in order to rear common snook for releasing back into the environment. Our goal is to bring our science into the classroom so that students can understand more about fish husbandry, collecting data, working with that data, and using data to answer hypotheses that they may have about some of our local tidal creeks and how those creeks contribute to healthy fisheries. The students are exposed to real world research and um, Moat Marine scientists have um, spent their time kind of collaborating with us and coming to talk to our students directly. We have a lot of students doing research projects in collaboration with Moat. I'm taking the fish that were conditioned with the fake mangroves and I'm seeing what habitats they tend to frequent and then the fish that were not conditioned with anything and I'm seeing what habitats they tend to frequent and so far I found that a lot more mangrove fish than control fish have remained at Riverview for long periods of time. So I'm thinking that might the mangrove conditioning might have an effect on like where they feel safe. So they might not be as explorative as they would be if they were just in a control tank. Okay, so the fish that were released, the ones that reoccurred at Riverview were the ones that had been conditioned prior to being released. So the fish that had a fake mangrove placed into their tank prior to being released were more likely to show back up at Riverview and the data was pretty significant. I believe it was like 300 something reoccurrences versus only about 50 or so reoccurrences. Currently we have um, about 12 sections of marine science, um, 350 to about 375 students currently take marine science each year. Um, they get college level um, credit for their course, their, their top level course and my students um, in the Stars to Starfish program teach about 3,000 to 4,000 elementary and middle school students that come through and we had a group that visited today from Brookside Middle School. Um, they also are starting a marine science academy um, and so is Philippi Shores Elementary and they are uh, so we're gonna have elementary, middle school and then leading to high school hopefully that come to Riverview and experience everything that's happening in their own backyard and they're learning as much as, as they would like to in terms of their natural environment. 